Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode by me, myself and I, Mr. Dan, I am. I am Dan, once again, me, I am. Mr. Dan, Mr. Dan, I am. What we're here to do today is, once again, we're here back with another Magic the Gathering episode for the uh, Weekly 4 episode. This is Weekly 4 number 2 and here today we have these four Shadows Over Innistrad boosters. Uh, now, anybody who's watched my previous videos and my booster box openings and we've not got all that lucky so far with the uh, booster packs that we've opened. Uh, not had any Planeswalkers, I had a few Mythics and a uh, couple of Legendaries, including Odrich twice, uh, but not actually any Mythics, uh, sorry, any Planeswalkers. So let's see if we can get one today. Feeling good about these ones, so let's see what we can do. So, not waste any more time. Let's get booster pack number one underway and see what delights we have in store. So we have Inquisitor's Ox, Pieces of the Puzzle, Dead Weight, Expose Evil, Drown Yard Explorers, Fork in the Road, Hulking Devil, Might Beyond Reason, Fiery Temper, and into our Uncommons we have Neglected Heirloom, which uh, transforms into Ashmouth Blade, Ghoulsteed, which we've been getting a lot of recently in the Uncommon, Haunted Cloak, a different one, I've not had that one personally, Gloom Widow, and the Diagraph Colossus is our rare, so uh, two colourless and one swamp for a 2-2. Two -two. Diagraph Colossus enters the battlefield with a 1-1 counter on it for each zombie card in your graveyard. Whenever you cast a zombie spell, put a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token onto the battlefield tapped. And then we've got a nice little zombie token at the end to go with it. Okay, so that's our first one. Booster pack number two. If I can get into it at any point, doesn't look like it. There we go. So here we go. Nagging thoughts. Throttle. Ethereal guidance. Just the wind. Twins of Mora Estate. Moldgraph Scavenger, Structural Distortion, Shard of Broken Glass, and we have Blood Mad Vampire, and a Gatstaff Arsonists, which transforms into the Gatstaff Ravagers. Now we have our first and common, Hope Against Hope, Tooth Collector. Crawling sensation. <gasps> well, that's <a laughs> that kind of took my breath away there. So we've uh, come up with uh, not a planeswalker, no, but we've got possibly one of the next best things. Uh, we have our legendary mythic in Sigarda, Heron's Grace, and uh, three colorless, one forest, one plains, flying. You and humans you control have hexproof. And pay two, exile a card from your graveyard, put a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token onto the battlefield, and she is a 4-5. Now that's interesting because I have been thinking about making a green-white human deck, and well, now we've come across one of these, it may well just have to be done. That is a pretty epic pull. Of course, not quite Avacyn, or no, also there's a Olivia out there. But uh, at the moment, that's a pretty good card. I'm pretty happy with that one. And we have a forest and a human to go with our nice little Sigarda, Heron's Grace. Right, boost pack number three. So let's see if we can get uh, a nice pull here again for the rare. And we have uh, Alms of the Vein first. Unruly Mob, human, of course. Press the Answers. Oops. Crow of Dark Tidings. Stern Constable. Brush of Adrenaline. 
Might Beyond Reason, Wicker Witch, Fiery Temper, then we have our first uncommon Thraben Gargoyle, which transforms to Stonewing Antagonizer. We have Creeping Dread. Uncommon number three, Runaway Carriage, which is a quite a cool card. I like that one. So, then we have Gloom Widow, and our rare is Rattle Chains. So one colorless, one island. Uh, a 2 1 with flash and flying. When Rattle Chains enters the battlefield, target spirit gains hexproof until end of turn. You may cast spirit spells as though they had flash. Very nice uh, card if you are running a spirit deck. Possibly white and blue, that is a very cool card. And we have a clue in this one. Okay. On to our last booster pack for this episode. see what we pull this time. So, card number one. Piece of the puzzle. Merciless Resolve. Inspiring Captain. Looking out for those humans now. Silberland, Silberland Snapper. Rotten Heart Ghoul. Pleasant name. Fork in the Road. Magmatic Chasm. Kessig Dyerswine, Ember Eye Wolf, and our first uncommon, Kindly Stranger, which transforms into Demon Possessed Witch, then Tenacity, uh, Liliana's Indignation, Inner Struggle. And a Scourge Wolf is our rare. So two mountains. Uh, first strike, it's a 2-2 two -two and with Delirium. Scourge Wolf has double strike as long as there are four or more card types among cards in your graveyard. Very cool. And we end up with another clue this time. So a couple of clues. A human and a zombie creature token. And just to recap on our rares then. In reverse order, go Scourge Wolf, which you've uh, of course just seen. Our Rattle Chains. Sigarda, Heron's Grace, which uh, takes this episode by absolute storm. Very, very cool, very cool card, liking that one. And a Diagraph Colossus, which is also pretty handy because I am considering making a zombie deck as well. So that will go very well. Um, great pulls there, happy with that one. Check back again next week. I will be doing another episode, of course, the weekly episode, where I will be doing another four Shadows of Renistrad boosters. And if we eventually come across that uh, fabled Planeswalker, then I might look at doing potentially uh, a couple of different sets for the booster packs. But uh, for now, this is what we have coming next week. But thank you once again for watching. A pleasure as always. I will see you next time. Peace out. Much love.